Nintendo has filled the Switch with plenty of games, and the hybrid console has become a digital owner's dream. But does the eShop need a makeover? That's what we're here to discuss. I'm your host, Zach, from Switch Force. Gabe is here, and we're talking all about how to make this eShop better. Gabe, the eShop, it's fine. It's simple. It, it suffices. But we would like more, and I think it would open up a lot more opportunity for exposure, for fun, and to to showcase some of these amazing releases that Nintendo now is pushing out every single week. Yeah, um, you know, any given week there are five plus games coming to the Switch, and uh, while we'll get into the details in a little bit, I feel like so many of them are falling by the wayside, and that can be fixed, and it can be alleviated pretty uh, quickly. But besides that, you know, there are glaring omissions from eShop that we all want, and maybe we should go over those first, get them out of the way, the big ones that we know that people are probably going to agree with. Yeah, absolutely. So, music, right? <laughs> the eShop needs some music. Everyone loves those music tracks. We use the old eShop music tracks in some of our videos. Heck, we'll probably use an old eShop track in this video yeah. just for, for nostalgia's sake. Uh, but some music would be good. Obviously, apps, they are coming. We don't know when. But Netflix, YouTube, things of that sort would be great. Virtual console, enough said, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, we want virtual console of- games on, on eShop. Yes. <laughs> outside of that, um, I, I guess one more to mention would be themes and avatars. That's something we've talked about from the beginning. There's no sign of that coming, but it seems like a a silly thing to not include. They do it on 3DS. Why not do it on Switch? Being able to dress up the, the UI and the interior of your Switch, as well as you can dress up the exterior with skins or different colored Joy-Con or some full-on modifications via colorware or companies of that sort. Being able to, to do it on the software side of things would be really cool. But the biggest issue that I think the eShop has is discovery. And how are you going to sift through, sort through, and discover some of these awesome titles? And Gabe, you made a great point before we started this. If you don't know that Snipper Clips is on Switch, there's really no way for you to know. Yeah, because, you know, going through the tabs, I have eShop open right now. We have recent releases, we have bestsellers coming soon, enter code. Uh, Snipper Clips is not a recent release. Um, bestseller, it was a bestseller for quite some time, but now there's so many games out that, you know, they only show the 15 bestsellers uh, on here, so that does not make the cut. Zelda is the 15th bestselling game at the time of this recording, so yes, Snipper Clips is not on here. So, if I don't, it, how would a new Switch owner know to get the beautiful, magnificent, amazing game that is Snipper Clips if you, like, aren't into. Uh, you know, doing your research, of course, you can go online and look, you know, top 10 games on Switch. And yeah, you'll know Snipper Clips is there. Maybe you'll go search, but you have to go search for Snipper Clips. There's no other menu. There's no, uh, like, you know, exclusive on Switch. The, the, there's no recommendations based on, and this is something you touched on, you know, based off other things you've bought. Like, there's nothing there. So a, a new Switch owner is, uh, it almost feels like it's a funnel. Like, you're being presented with, you know, recent releases. And, and mm-hmm. you know the top fifteen bestsellers, and that's it. Like, it seems like it's almost like a conscious effort to make sure well, that and these are the fifteen games that are being spotlighted. Yeah, and since there are so many releases, you are very much getting a revolving door of of what is the bestseller, what is the top title. You know, we think back to some of our favorite early indie titles like Mr. Shifty, Graceful Explosion Machine. Those are are basically invisible to a new Switch owner. And, you know, this goes for retail releases as well. They're not all on there on the bestsellers. There's not even a tab for, like, oh, retail games that could be digital. Or, you know, oh, even Nintendo published titles. It would be... I was going to say it would be great, but it's necessary that they start developing some tabs. They start developing some different ways of sorting through the games besides just recent and bestsellers. They need to curate this. They need to put out a Nintendo's, you know, choice. They need to put out a fan favorites. They need to put out a multiplayer. And and all of this is done on the handhelds, right? This is done on 3DS on the eShop. There's a boatload of different... Uh, you know, headers that help you sort of sort through the content. I would say that that isn't even a very convenient way to sort through games on the 3DS, but it's way better than this because we need, we need to find, we need to have besides the first week that you're out, a way for your game to get exposure and to not just feel like it is, like you said, this funnel that there's so many games and we have no real way of seeing them. Even Wii U has a much, much better eShop. Like ARMS and Splatoon 2, 
two big games. Splatoon 2 has sold very well. I'm looking through everything here on the eShop. Unless I go to the search bar and type in Splatoon 2, that game does not come up whatsoever. And it is in Nintendo's interest to sell that game um, above a lot of these games. So, uh, yeah, I think that's definitely a problem. And then really, really cool smaller games are falling by the wayside. Uh, I I mentioned Snipperclips, but, you know, that's been out for a while. But even things like... Uh, Axiom Verge, you, you, you're not going to see that game. Well, it is right now. It's number 11 because the game just came out last week. But in a week or two, you're not going to see that game on the top 15. And you're not going to know that game's there. Um, you know, the Retro City Rampage, another game that I liked quite a bit. Unless you go search for that, you're not finding it. So it is a recurring uh, problem here. And I feel like Nintendo is going to address this at some point. They have to because this isn't... It, it, this isn't a, a way that you can run your eShop, and it's not sustainable at all. Th- there's no way. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's already become... It's o- already overflowed, right? This this methodology already is failing them, and we kind of wrestle with the idea of, like, do we frame this from a standpoint of too many games? But I don't think there's ever too many games as long as you're able to curate and sort them well, right? There should be a, a tab that showcases, you know, things based on your purchases, recommendations based on your already existing Switch library. So, oh, if I am playing a lot of indie multiplayer games, then I'm going to get, you know, the Snipper Clips recommendation. I'm going to get a uh, an Astro Bears Party recommendation. I'm going to get things like that to help me build an arsenal of, of titles that I will enjoy. You know, things like Overcooked, one of my favorite experiences on Switch. Yes, it's a port, but it, it's so good on Switch, nowhere to be seen. And it's it's sad that now that there's so many games... If you don't catch fire or get a, a stronghold on Reddit or have a name notoriety like Stardew Valley, you could be buried. And that shouldn't happen on Switch, right? Especially since there aren't a ton of retail releases as of yet. They really should be emphasizing how to make the eShop a a beautiful way to sort through this stuff. And another thing that we pointed out that would be helpful, especially for the indies, is more video. I feel like, yes, screenshots tell a piece of the story, but video, especially in 2017, is a way that people want to find out about what the game really is, and you're not going to have a YouTube app on the eShop as of now, so you got to provide them with video, and Gabe, you were digging through and found very, very few titles that had any sort of of moving pictures here i can give context on that uh it seems like most if not all of nintendo first party stuff has video pokin has video arms has video splatoon has video uh the only non-nintendo game that i found with video was dragon ball xenoverse 2 though that is the only mm. game all of these anti games and i feel like they are the ones that need it the most none of them have video even the bigger ones like steamroll dig 2 and stardew valley none of those have video accompanying uh, their eShop page at all. So that's also a, a, another problem that could uh, be addressed. Zach, one more problem that I just figured out just now. Um, you know, this wasn't in, in our rundown of the, what the video was going to be, but on the coming soon page, right? Uh, the, we posted the video uh, earlier today about the eight games coming to eShop this week that we know about. And mm-hmm. of those eight, only six of them are on the coming soon page. Why isn't every single game coming this week on the coming soon page? And it's not be- And it's not because they don't fit. Because there are plenty of games that aren't out till like November that um, are on the list. Uh, Xenoblade is on there on the coming soon page, and that's a December game. So, uh, and the two games that are not on the coming soon page are the two most exciting ones I think for the week. It's a uh, Wolverblade and um, uh, the Flame by the Flood, or uh, I'm sorry, um, Flame in the Flood. Yeah. yeah. So those two are not on the coming soon page. We do know that they're coming on Thursday. Uh, that has been confirmed, so they will be on eShop on Thursday, but they're not on the coming soon page. So I don't know what what and, gives with that. Yeah, we can, I guess, cut a slight bit of slack for the just the fact that many of these titles are late entries to the release schedule. You know, all of a sudden, oh, this is coming out, this is coming out. And so perhaps that provides a little bit of difficulty for Nintendo in terms of how they, they deal with their coming soon page. But nonetheless, like, this is your bread and butter of how you're selling your games, and especially these indie eShop-only titles. You have to provide a succinct, smooth, easy experience for players. And, you know, we do occasionally hear, oh, there's, like, so much indie crap on the Switch. Oh, we just want blah, blah, blah. I feel like that would be really, really reduced if it was better organized. And this seems like a simple thing. Like, literally throw a couple interns on this for a week (laughs) and and develop some tabs. Like, how hard is it to throw an update to the eShop that has a another two tabs, you know, top indies, top 
you know, Nintendo favorites of the of the month, things of that sort. It seems like they could really do this, or you know, start providing. Um, you even mentioned like a sales tab, you know, something that highlights, hey, these games have had reduced prices recently, or you know, these games have reviewed really well, or you know, I don't know. It it, it feels like such a needed and such an easy shift that I hope we see this soon. And if you guys have any ideas or thoughts on how to make the eShop better or what kind of tabs you would like or from your experience of browsing the eShop, you know, any difficulties you've had, like if you weren't following from day one, are there eShop games you have heard about on our channel that you didn't even know existed because they are, like you mentioned, Gabe, basically non-existent on there unless you directly search. I don't think it's ever a good idea to require a direct knowledge of the product to sell it. Imagine if you went to a store and it was just like a blank shelf and you had to type in, I want blah, 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 Greek yogurt, and then it would appear. Like that's, Damn. business would be down, down, down. So how many how many sales are they leaving on the doorstep by not providing us uh, with some better eShop presentation? Let us know in the comments down below what you all think about it. I think the main things are those tabs. I would love recommendations. And then obviously eventually we want we want music. But yeah. <laughs> listen, let's not ask for too much at once. Yes, please just let me find games. Honestly, this video is just so that people know about Sniper Clips again. I just wanted a reason to mention the game existing because you can't find it. Yeah, Sniper Clips is great. Sniper Clips is getting a physical release, so it will get some exposure uh, again. But in the meantime, the eShop... It needs a makeover. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest and some of the things that aren't the greatest on Nintendo Switch. Until next time, everybody, for myself and Gabe, Switch Force out.